Hey y'all, welcome to this video. If you are new here and you are just checking out this video, hi, my name is Tracy. I am the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms. And if you are returning or are you, a, you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back. I am in the middle of a hotel cooking uh, series. And the video before this one is showing you that morning when I got up at the crack way before the crack of dawn and I did my meal planning showed you how I was planning how I came up with my meals and then I took you along on my grocery trip with me okay so that was the first one go back and check that one out if you're new and you're just now seeing my videos for the first time okay those of y'all that did see that one and you're returning to this one it's time to get that um, one of those meals done. So let me see. Any, mini, money, mo. I got it. Today, we're going to be cooking that whole chicken. And then we're going to be doing pot in pot, two vegetables at the same time in the Instapot. So y'all get those aprons on and let's get to cooking. Okay, y'all. It is time to fix this bird, okay? I have already done some pre-prepping the chicken off of camera for the sake of of space oil in that bird up putting the spices on it um yeah washing my hands I, I didn't want to touch my camera okay on and off so this is what i've done and i will walk you through this little process y'all this is not hard okay i'm pretty sure everybody knows how to massage oil <laughs> on a bird okay on a chicken i swear i think i heard that chicken saying "Ooh, that feels good baby okay just a little to the right okay but y'all i'm not kidding <laughs> I, with clean hands, I opened up the package of the chicken. Y'all, it killed me to have to get rid of some of that stuff on the inside and cut some things off, you know, that you like the neck and stuff like that that you normally do. Because y'all, I use that and I'll put it in a Ziploc freezer bag and save that for making chicken stock. Okay, save those things, y'all. Save the insides that comes in it. Anything that you cut off of it, and even when you get done eating your chicken, debone it, save the bones, throw all those scraps, and make you some chicken stock with that. There's a good tip for you to get some more uses out of your chicken. If you don't like the skins on your chicken, y'all, I know people that will take the skins off and fry them up in some oil, there's your, there's your, um, what are they called? Chitlins? Um, no. Anyway, there's like you a crispy snack, the skins. Oh, y'all, and they're good when you season them up. They're good. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay, so what I have done is I have pre-prepped and I have massaged the oil all on the chicken and I have coated the chicken season with seasonings top and bottom, all up under the armpits, all in the cracks and crevices of the leg. Now, I put it in the air fryer basket, breast side down, okay? Because you wanna cook, if you do the breast side up, it's going. the top is going to burn and it's going to dry the breasts out. When you do it breast side down first, the juices are going down to the breast and it's going to make them juicy. This is the seasonings that I used, okay? This is not a sponsored video. This is just some things I had in my cabinet, okay? And we brought with us. We love Butcher Boy seasonings, by the way. This is some I bought my husband for Christmas and at a local store of ours, y'all. Okay, so I got the bird all prepared and we're going to put it in here breast side down. Let me move this. Now, y'all, this was a this is a perfect fit for my air fryer. Do y'all see that? Perfect fit for my air fryer, okay? I don't have to tie anything up. I don't have to tie the legs. I don't have to tie the wings. I've got a good space right in there. So this is going to go. This is going to go in the air fryer. I wrote these directions down, y'all. This is gonna go in the air fryer. Uh, for 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook first, and then we'll I'll let you we'll test it as we go. We'll see what it looks like, and then we're gonna flip it over 
and then we're going to cook the rest of the side, crisp it up a little bit, which might be 20 to 25 minutes longer. Then when it's done cooking, you take it out, you set it aside, you wrap it up in some foil and let it rest. Okay, don't start carving into it yet. You got to control yourself. Okay, so let's get halfway through the cooking process and we'll look at it before um, we flip it over and see what it looks like. Now, you want the temperature of a whole chicken or chicken to come up to 165 degrees internal temperature. So, I do have a thermometer down here so I can travel with it, okay? It folds up. Now, while this chicken is, I got 40 minutes to play around with y'all, that's going to give me some time to pre-prep my baby carrots and what else did I say I was going with that? Baby carrots and macaroni and cheese. So, I'm going to get all my stuff and we're going to start prepping that off camera, but I'll bring you back and let you see what I'm doing, okay? Okay. I am going to show y'all right quick how this product works. Echovana. Can you see that? Echovana. This is a pot and pot tool that I use to cook more than one thing at a time in my big pressure cooker at home or my instant pot. I have a power pressure cooker XL at home and it's big y'all to use for bigger things. And then I don't travel with that because it is too big. That's why I have an instant pot for when I'm traveling. But I want to show y'all this just a second. Okay, this is a pot and pot method. One of these is going to go on the bottom. Okay, this is going to go on top of that to release some of the steam. This one is going to go on top of that. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. If you stack them on top of each other, this one comes off. When you put this one on top of this one, that acts as your barrier. Then you put both of them on top of here and you close it up like this and you lock it, you have a handle. You put it right down in your Instant Pot. Isn't that snazzy, y'all? Okay, now, the reason for this other lid is if you want to put it in the, your Instant Pot like that, okay? And you want a little bit of steam to escape, okay? That's the reason for this lid. But if you're gonna stack both of them on top of each other, you don't do that. So, I'm going to prepare the baby carrots, and let's see, I need to wash my carrots. I'm going to do some prepping off camera. I'll bring you back, and I will show you what I have done to prepare these, and I'll explain this a little bit more, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've done my prepping so far, what I can do on this step, all right, and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, I made a syrup, a simple syrup for the glazed um, uh, brown sugar and cinnamon car baby carrots, okay? I need to add cinnamon to that, okay? I think I got some cinnamon. I hope I do, okay? Then I've got my macaroni noodles in this pot with enough water to cover the macaroni and give it enough room to absorb the rest of that liquid, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, um, let me explain something else too. When you are doing pot and pot cooking, I'll talk while I'm looking for my cinnamon. While you're doing, when you're doing pot and pot cooking in this Echovana um, accessory, okay, here's my cinnamon. <gasps> I'm gonna have to stir that. <laughs> Cause that's a lot of cinnamon. Okay, but it'll be okay. All right, so I got my simple syrup. I'll stir that in just a second before I put it in here. Okay, I just made a mess. Okay, get back to the pot and pot cooking. If you're going to do the pot and pot, be careful when you're picking out what you're going to cook because you're going to have to pair things together that has the same amount of cooking time. Macaroni noodles or pasta noodles is four minutes in an Instant Pot, whether it's in that thing or it's in your stainless steel insert, okay, in your Instant Pot. Um, this uh, baby carrots in the Instant Pot is four minutes. So see, when you're meal planning and you're wanting to use this, make sure you find things that has the same amount of cooking time, okay? You don't wanna put two different things in there. One's gonna take 20 minutes to pressure cook and one's only gonna take five. 
one of them's not going to get done or one of them's going to get burnt before the other one gets done. Okay, so pair them together with the same amount of minutes. All right, I'm going to put y'all down and I'm going to try to clean this up. I'm going to let y'all see how I put this together and then we're going to get it in the instant pot. Let me stir the cinnamon up, y'all. Oh, I can stir the up. Oh, yeah, look at that brown sugar, y'all. Let's coat this up real good. I didn't get too much cinnamon. It just dumped in one spot, so I have to stir it up. Oh, y'all, that's already smelling good, y'all. I just made a simple syrup. Butter, brown sugar. I used the Splenda so my husband can eat it better. And I used a sugar-free syrup and butter. That's it. And I used cinnamon, okay? So I'm going to stir this up. It's going to go on the bottom. So remember, these are raw baby carrots. These are not steamable baby carrots, okay? Like where they've already been flash whatever in the freezer section. These are raw baby carrots, okay? Now, I've got my macaroni in there, so we are going to put this pot together. Like that. Put my lid on. I'm gonna move this, I don't need that. This is my instant pot lid. I can't put that in y'all's way. Uh, let me put it down here. Okay, now we're going to get my instant pot out. I'm gonna have to plug it up. One cup of water, y'all, I almost forgot. It, it doesn't matter if you're doing in, in pot cooking, you still have to have water in your instant pot, okay, for it to come up to pressure. So let me grab a cup and get a cup of water in my instant pot. All right, I've got that cup in there, and we're going to close this up. Did y'all see how simple that was? You don't have to worry about burning yourself, and you can lift this up and put it down in your pot, just like that. Y'all, I, I think this is a six quart, so I'm not going to have to worry about if this thing is too tall, okay? Because you see, i got plenty of room. Let me find my cord. I don't leave this plugged in all the time, y'all. I've been told, do not leave your Instant Pots plugged in because it's going to be on all the time. And do not leave your air fryers plugged in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find our lid. It's four minutes for both of these, y'all, so we're going to do good. Put it to sealing and not venting. Let me make sure that is sealing. Okay, now we're going to go to pressure cook, four minutes. The last thing I cooked was set to 24 minutes, y'all, so i got to go down to four. I tell you what, we're going to do five minutes, okay, just to make sure on the carrots, okay, and then let it do its thing. It's going to come up to pressure on its own. It's going to cook for five minutes. That means... Woo! I got five minutes to get some cheese shredded and get ready to put things in the macaroni noodles to make the macaroni and cheese when it comes out. Now, y'all, you can fix macaroni and cheese inside your pot, okay? And you can make a big batch of macaroni and cheese, okay? You can make a whole box or a whole package. I'm just doing this because it's small scale. You just throw the noodles and your um, water okay i forgot to put salt in it but y'all i can salt it when i get ready to put all this stuff in it okay so that is going to come up to pressure we're looking good on here i've got time to shred some cheese i'll be right back okay y'all i'm about to burn up okay let me tell y'all what i've done i have shredded pepper jack cheese colby jack cheese mozzarella cheese y'all i know that's done when this is done in the pot and pot, and even if you're doing noodles, macaroni, or whatever, or the carrots and stuff in your Instant Pot, let it natural release for 10 minutes, okay? That'll just give it some extra time to soak up all the juices, okay? So we're going to do that. So I got 10 more minutes. Okay, y'all, I know I could buy the pre-shredded, but the starch that's used as a preservation on the already pre-packaged shredded cheese spikes my husband's sugar can't use it we have to buy the block cheese so i have shredded mozzarella pepper jack colby jack um so y'all remember in my grocery haul for get this bill prep getting ready for these meals i bought these okay now i have added the three cheeses i've got and i got just a tiny bit of cream cheese in here milk what else 
liquid smoke because this is supposed to be a smoked macaroni and cheese, okay? So I've got a little bit of liquid smoke in here, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, and a teeny tiny mustard, um, ground mustard, or y'all, if you're in a pinch, use just a teeny tiny bit of mustard. Pioneer Woman said that mustard, for some reason, just kicks up macaroni and cheese a notch, and I trust her, okay? So I am also gonna do something a little different. Since I don't want to mess up my pot, my sta my big stainless steel pot, and that's the purpose for doing the pot in pot cooking. Normally, if you're doing macaroni and cheese inside the stainless steel liner of your instant pot, when your noodles gets done and you've let the pressure naturally release, all you do is take let it let it depressurize, uh, take your lid off, then put your cheeses your seasonings and your milk in there and stir it all up while it's still on the keep warm cycle uh, um, button, okay? Because that the keep warm cycle, after it's cut off, it's gonna kick into keep warm mode. And when you start putting all your cheeses and your cold milk in there, it will help melt all that and make it easier spreadable and you can stir it up. But since I'm doing the pot in pot method, I've got to take these out, check my noodles, check my carrots, and I'm going to heat up this sauce. I put all this in a bowl, and I'm going to make this my cheese sauce, okay? And I am going to heat this up in the microwave and go ahead and let it be melting that way for me, okay? Since I'm doing, I'm, I'm you know, space-wise. So we're gonna go time and we're gonna try about two minutes first and I'll just keep stirring till I get the consistency that I want. I may have to add some more meal. That's depressurizing, it's got seven more minutes to go. We got nine more minutes on the chicken before we have to flip it, okay? So I'm gonna take this time to clean up my area, y'all, or I'm not gonna be able to put this food anywhere. So just to recap, if I was doing this in the liner in my Instant Pot, I would just chunk all this in there on the keep warm mode inside the pot with the noodles and let it melt that way, just like you're doing it on the stove. You're just using your inner lining, okay? But like I said, I don't wanna mess up that big old pot tonight. I've already got two pots in there. So I'm gonna just give me a jump start and go ahead and melt my cheese sauce in the microwave. All right, so give me a second to clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, it's time to flip this bird. Ooh. All right, top is getting good and crispy. I like that. Y'all see? Y'all, it's not burnt, okay? I can see it from right here, but y'all, I don't care. I kind of like my skin on my chicken crispy, so we're going to turn this over. I should have checked it halfway through, but that's okay, y'all. Every air fryer is different, okay? So, check it, okay? I got busy, and I just forgot to check it. But this is okay with me, y'all, because I do kind of like the skins on my chicken a little blackened, especially if I'm doing rotisserie, okay? That's just me, y'all. That's my preference, okay? So, but if you don't like it, pay attention to your air fryer and check it, okay? So now it is time to, oh, y'all, and that's just the seasonings that got like that. The skin is fine. The seasonings is what kind of got the, okay. So we're going to try to flip this chicken as best as I know how, y'all. Okay, y'all bear with me just a second because it is going to take a minute to flip it, okay? I'm going to grab it right in the cavity. Oh, make sure you got some strong tongs. Flip. See the seasonings come off? There it went. Yeah, okay. So it's not burnt, y'all. That's the seasonings and that oil, okay? Because... Be generous, y'all. I mean, generous, generous with your seasonings and your oil. Slather that baby, okay? Make it, make it, make it love you, okay? So we're going to throw this back in there for, what did it say, 20 to 25 minutes? I'm going to do 20 minutes first, and I'm going to keep checking it. And then we're going to start checking the internal temperature, and we'll just go from there, y'all, because I'm trying to pay attention to my air fryer, okay? So we're going to go from there, okay? So I'm going to put this back in there. And y'all, the drippings that's in the bottom of your basket, uh-uh, 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 use those for gravy, 
Use those drippings for gravy, y'all. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to in here. I don't have the gravy mix. I'm not gonna be able to. I got some flour and butter though. I may save them drippings. I may just do that. Pour them in a bowl, save them for later. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. We're gonna go back down to 350. I don't have my glasses on, y'all. That's 350. Somebody called Popo. Don't. So we're gonna oh, go up to 20 minutes. I'm gonna do 20 first. We're gonna check it, okay? We're gonna keep an eye, we're gonna eyeball it this time, okay? I'm fixing to take these out and I'm gonna let y'all see how I take this out of here, okay? Here's my thermometer. I got me a little fold up digital thermometer, y'all. So we're gonna check this as we go. Right now, y'all, this is noodles. So it may have just a little bit of foam in it. So I'm going to cover this up to not get the steam all over my, my, my thing here. Okay, it's already let it all out anyway. All right, so I need this towel down so I don't burn my table, y'all. Let's try to get this out of here. And we're gonna check it, okay? This Instant Pots, y'all, you can go by the recipes and the videos on YouTube, on Pinterest, in your recipe books. But y'all, check everything. Tweak it if you need to. Do not be scared, okay? Just because it doesn't turn out right. Tweak it, okay? So that I'm gonna check everything. So let's get my rag here, because this handle's gonna be hot. I've got my sauce mixture here. And if I have too much sauce, y'all, I'm gonna reserve it, and I'm gonna use it for the lazy, Lasagna, chicken alfredo, lazy lasagna. Oh, yo. Oh. Right. Oh, this is going to be hot. Mm. All right, let's check the carrots first for doneness. Oh, macaroni and cheese on top. All right, let's see. Here's my fork for my cheese sauce with that mozzarella, y'all. Okay, so you're going to stir up your noodles. They're not stuck together. Those, let me show y'all this. Look at that. Okay. Let me check the noodles and I'm, let me see. Almost. But let me tell you this. Since I'm doing two things at one time, I might need to put them back in there for a minute. If those would have just been in there by themselves, it, they would have probably done fine. So don't be worried, okay? These may meet, need just a few more minutes. So what I will do is, I will add my sauce to this pot and let these pressure cook for maybe like two more minutes. Let me check the carrots. Let's see if they need anything. Where can I put this? That's an idea, y'all. Just know that if you're doing pot and pot cooking, Oh, y'all, that cinnamon just hit me in the face. Let's check, we're going to check for doneness. Oop. Okay. I'm doing the pot and pot method. They're not tender, so I'm going to have to go a couple of more minutes, okay? Normally, like I said, if I wasn't doing pot and pot, I probably wouldn't have to add more minutes. They'd probably be done. So I'm going to actually put my sauce in my macaroni and cheese and we're gonna put these back in there for two more minutes. And then we're just gonna keep testing, y'all. I got time. We're just gonna keep testing, okay? Till we get it right. Then I will go back, y'all help me remember, and I will write this down and I'll know for next time. So that was five minutes the first time. We're gonna add two more minutes. So that's gonna bump it up to seven. We're just gonna go from there, y'all. Don't be scared. Tweak, check, and tweak. Check and tweak till you get it right. Everybody's is different, okay? Let me be let me get my sauce in here and I'll be right back. Alright, I've poured my cheese sauce in here and I want y'all to say something. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of milk. Yes, that's a lot of cheese sauce. Y'all, I don't like a dry macaroni and cheese. I don't like it dry, okay? Also, if they tell you that's too much cheese, don't listen to them. Don't, that you don't need that negativity in your life. So I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna put the lids back on here, and we're gonna go for two more minutes. Make sure I have plenty of water. Yes, still. 
in the bottom of my pot. Let me add just a teeny tiny bit more water, y'all, just to make sure. All right, did I add a little more water? This is still hot a little bit. We're gonna put this back down in here. Um, y'all, I may go, let's go three more minutes, okay? And we'll check it, okay? Let's do that. Let's do three minutes, where's my lid? And we'll check it. Sealing, not venting. And we're going to go pressure cook. We're on uh, uh, high pressure, and we're going to do three minutes, okay? So we're gonna let it come back up to pressure and go for three minutes. This still has 14 more minutes, so we're gonna clean up here and I'll be right back. Y'all, I've got eight minutes left, but I wanna check the internal temperature on this just to be on the safe side. And you want to check it in, <laughs> my mama, y'all, bless her heart. You want to check it in several, oh, let's turn this on. Sorry. You want to cook it till the internal temperature is 165 and the juices run clear, okay? But I can't see down in the bottom. All right, so we're going to go close to the bone. Because, y'all, sometimes it's harder to get, well, I'm sweating, y'all, to get meat done closer to the bone than anywhere else. So you wanna check it close to the bone. So I'm at 140 right now, y'all, okay? That is a little bit towards the breast. Let's go in between here and get to the thigh. Okay. It is showing y'all that I am above 165. Okay, I'm gonna, let's let it go down. Let it go down. Okay, let's get over here to this other leg in between them joints where the bones are. 162, close to the leg. I'm almost there y'all, close to the leg. But y'all, when I just moved it again, it went up. Oh, y'all, my husband's better at this than I am. Let's go inside the breast. Okay, I think it's gonna take some more time. Let it go down, just to be on the safe side, because y'all, I would rather be over. Okay, I'm about five degrees off, so we're gonna put it back in there for the remainder of that eight minutes. Six minutes, sorry, okay? I'd rather be a little over than, oh, y'all, it's hot. That air fryer and that Instant Pot both going, whoo. Well, I just heard my Instant Pot go down, so it's natural releasing. Oh, y'all, it's so hot. <laughs> oh, I gotta get over here where the air conditioner is, okay? So, I'm gonna give that just a few more minutes and it should be done. My husband's better at checking this than I am, y'all, with meats. I don't, I, I let, I, you know what, I always let him check the temperature on the meats, okay? But I'm doing the best I can with it just me, y'all, okay? It won't be much longer, he'll be here. And I'm fixing to check these, and y'all, if I need to add more minutes, we'll just do it, okay? Every time I, I do something new in my air fryer or in my Instant Pot, and I have to tweak it, I just write it down, y'all, and, and I just keep going until it gets right, then I write it down. That's the reason why a lot of people are scared to use their stuff or they're frustrated and they don't want to use it because they're like, well, well, I did it and it turned out wrong. Well, okay. Crap happens, okay? Ooh, I'm getting in front of this fan. Crap happens, okay? Try it again and tweak the recipe. Then when you get it just right, write it down, okay? Plus, every air fryer, every Instant Pot's different. So, I'm just going to keep doing that with this, y'all. We'll just keep testing as we go, and then I'll go and I'll make sure I write it down. So, this got seven more minutes to depressurize. That's got about four more minutes to finish cooking. And we'll see. I'll bring you back, y'all. Everybody's texting me. I got to check everybody, okay? I'll, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, y'all, it's been 20 minutes. Let's try this again. Remember it said 20 to 25 minutes. So if I need to go five extra minutes, I can put it in there for five extra minutes. So we're gonna go in this way. All right, 
right there, I'm still not. Y'all, I hate this. I wish my husband was here to do this. All right, let's go in from this way, bird. Maybe I didn't go, maybe I didn't go in the right way. It's 162. Y'all, I'm thinking that extra five minutes is going to bump it up to where I need. But see, each time I take it out, I'm thinking that extra five minutes is what I'm going to need. And then also, it, like I said, every time I take it out, I'm fluctuating the temperature. So we're going to do five extra minutes. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to write this down just like she's saying. 350, uh, four, let's add that extra five minutes, y'all, okay? So, I know to write that down. I am right there, 163, I'm right there, y'all, okay? So, I'm just to write this down on my notepad. Whole chicken in the air fryer, okay? 350 degrees, breast down for 40 minutes, flip 350 degrees for 25 more minutes, when it gets done, cover it up with aluminum foil and let it rest. I'll write that down. I just added that extra five minutes, okay? This is fixing to depressurize. We'll see what our macaroni and cheese and our carrots looks like. All right, y'all, I've got them out. I'm kind of disappointed, but I'm not going to let it bother me. The carrots still need some more minutes. Probably because they're on the bottom. Yeah, they just need a few more minutes. I'm going to pop them back in there by their sales. Okay, I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna put them back in there by their sales. And you know what I might do? Let me do this. I'm gonna take the lid off. Let's see if I can get it, get the lid off. Okay, let me get this back out of here. It's okay, y'all. Play around. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right? Because it's been a long time since I've used my Echovana Pot and Pot. So, yeah, it's been a while. So, we're going to put this back in here. And we're just going to do the carrots by themselves, uncovered. And I'm going to do them for four minutes. Uh, let me see. Let me test. They're still crunchy, y'all. I don't, don't like that. I'm going to take one out. I'm just going to do five minutes uncovered. We're just going to start these all over again, okay? It's probably because they were on the bottom. They were supposed to have taken just four minutes. But, y'all, that's four minutes in your Instant Pot, it, not in another pot inside your Instant Pot, okay? So, it's okay. I'm, I will not be defeated. Get thee behind me, Satan, okay? I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to run these for four for five minutes uncovered in there by themselves okay the macaroni and cheese y'all let me show you the macaroni and cheese y'all i love a creamy stringy mac and cheese and if y'all know anything about mac and cheese even though it still looks like it's very liquidy if y'all know anything about macaroni and cheese you know that the longer it sits and it cools that cheese is going to harden up so this is done. So the cheese that I am making, I'm going to be adding bacon pieces and the pimentos from my shopping trip, okay? And I'm gonna cover up the macaroni and cheese and it's gonna be done. When the chicken gets done, I'm gonna take it out, put it on aluminum foil, wrap it up, let it rest, okay? Then we're just gonna do these and then we'll plate up our food, okay? All right, y'all, I've got that chicken wrapped up in aluminum foil. I have tasted this macaroni and cheese, y'all. It's good. It's good. It's okay. Okay. So at least I know the macaroni and cheese turned out okay. Chicken's okay. Internal temperature of 165. Just like that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, we're going to check on these carrots again in a minute. I will not be defeated today. We'll just, y'all, maybe I read the air fryer. I, just, I Googled it. Uh, baby carrots in the air fryer. Maybe that four minutes was just for the bagged version on steam. I don't know. Maybe I read it wrong, okay? Maybe I didn't type it in right. Raw, next time I'll do raw baby carrots in the Instant Pot. I'll probably come up with more or longer minutes, y'all. And you know what? When I, when I get done with this tonight, I'm going to look that up just to be on the safe side, okay? So, that might have been for, like I said, the bagged vegetable, whatever. And they might have been pre-boiled, something like that. But I was starting from raw, y'all. So, yeah, I might have read it wrong. Okay, just, we're going to keep on. They're going to get done in a minute, I promise. I kid y'all not. 
these carrots are still not done. Y'all, I went back and looked it up. Fresh carrots. It said you can either use them from the garden or the store-bought. Y'all, from the garden, that's raw, y'all. And it said manual pressure cook four minutes. That's a lie, okay? I'm having to add about four more minutes on here. They're still not, they're still crunchy. I mean, crunchy, crunchy. More crunchy than what my husband will eat them. So y'all, I don't know what to say about that one. And I don't know, okay? Maybe next time when I try them, I won't even put them in a pot, okay? I will um, just put them inside the pot, pot, the liner of the Instant Pot. Maybe that's the problem. So from now on, I will know I can't do macaroni and cheese and baby carrots pot in pot. Unless I, I use the ones that are parboiled a little bit first, those might work, but not raw baby carrots, okay? So that's a lie. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that's a lie, okay? So when it's time to plate these up, I'll plate it up and I'll let you see what it looks like and we'll do a taste test, y'all. Y'all, those carrots finally got done. But honestly, y'all, I cannot tell y'all how many minutes I wound up going for. So next time, this is my tweak. Next time, if I'm going to do the pot in pot, I will either go ahead and just get the parboiled ones that's in the freezer section in the bags, okay? Or I will not use the pot in pot method and I will just put them straight in the Instapot liner, okay? I will not be defeated. I'll work it next time, okay? So we are going to do a little taste test and a little crunch test to see. That's better, y'all. That's better, all right? So that's just what I'll do next time. I, I will play around and sometimes you just have to do that, y'all. Just figure out what works, figure out what doesn't. So that's my two options for next time and I'll work with it. Okay, but they're finally done and I'm gonna plate up and I'll bring you back. Y'all, look at that. Don't let anybody tell y'all you cannot do a whole chicken in the air fryer. We are going to do a taste test, okay? I've already tasted the macaroni and cheese. I've already tasted the carrots. But, y'all, this chicken is calling my name. And I'm just going to try a little. We're going to take a piece of this leg here. I've already checked the chicken, y'all, to make sure up against the bone that it's done all the way. And, y'all, even the breast is juicy. Here we go. Y'all, that seasoning... Even on the breast, y'all, that seasoning went through the breast. That's juicy. That's good. That's good. I'm going to get another bite of that. That's good, y'all. Mm. Okay. The macaroni and cheese is perfect. The carrots finally got done, but that's okay. They're good now. <laughs> the syrup, everything. Hubby's going to like this, y'all. Y'all, don't give up. Keep trying. Don't be defeated, okay? Just keep tweaking it and just try things, y'all. You remember how, like, somebody always used to tell you, well, you never know till you try? Well, that's true, y'all. You never know until you try to do something. So try this, y'all. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I tried it. So here you go, y'all. There's a meal for the win. We'll catch y'all in the next video.